All right, so before I get into this, I wanna let you guys know that we're currently holding a giveaway with Maiden Gaming, the three-man team behind League of Maidens. League of Maidens is funded via Patreon right now, taking in monthly donations to create their game. This means that, at least presently, the game is only accessible to players that donate monthly. However, after reaching out to Maiden Gaming, following my first League of Maidens video, I managed to get 50 keys to the game for 50 of my viewers to access the game completely free forever. This ensures that regardless of the business model League of Maidens ends up with, free-to-play, buy-to-play, subscription-based, you're guaranteed a copy of the game. Permanently. To participate in the giveaway, all you're required to do is navigate to our website, mmobyte.tv, by clicking the link in the description or pinned comment, and follow the instructions. All in all, it'll take you, what, like 60 seconds, 90 at max, to apply and enter the giveaway, so what are you waiting for? I touched on this briefly in my last video, but allow me to elaborate on it a little further. League of Maidens is an MMO. It's not technically an MMORPG where hundreds if not thousands of players are capable of occupying a single space at any given time, but at the same time, the max number of players that can concurrently occupy a space is significantly higher than that of other MMOs that are labeled as MMORPGs such as Soul Worker, Vindictus, or Fantasy Star Online 2. So I'd venture a guess and say that it's, it's probably somewhere in between, a nice medium as it were. Like DC Universe Online and Champions Online, League of Maidens is a superhero themed MMO. You have what is potentially even deeper customization options than any other superhero themed MMO out there currently. And with graphics, or rather character models like these, that, <laughs> that honestly look like they're ripped right out of a Japanese hentai game, you can be certain that you're going to be able to create the character of your dreams. Don't get me wrong though, like, personally, I believe that the character models look incredible. Yes, no doubt that sparked some interest. I figured it would. Character creation is perhaps the most advanced I've come across in a Western MMO. You have the freedom to edit every facet of your character's body. I know that the game came under some heat for their use of over-sexualized or hyper-sexualized characters, as I'm sure you can no doubt tell the game is built around, uh, very voluptuously shaped women. Other YouTubers, critics, game reviewers all decided to attack the game because the women in it wear skimpy outfits and have too much emphasis on the feminine body. But this isn't the first time a game has utilized sex appeal to garner players. It happens all the time. Have you guys forgotten about Quiet in Metal Gear Solid 5? What about Dead or Alive 5? Or heck, Subverse? You cannot criticize Maiden Gaming for making League of Maidens sexy, not when games like these exist. I mean, I I'm gonna be honest here. Subverse's tagline is, are we alone in this universe? What's out there? And more importantly, can we bone it? And that game... <laughs> And that game raised over two million dollars on Kickstarter. So yeah, you can hate, you can complain, you can criticize all you want, but the market out there for games like this is growing rapidly. And yes, I know that there's a dirty joke in there, but this is a very serious video. Combat is admittedly one of the best parts of the game. I mean, yeah, the game looks good and character customization looks fantastic, but no game would be worth your time if it had less than stellar combat. League of Maidens therefore thankfully excels in combat as well, introducing you to a world filled with crazy metahuman flight, speed, teleportation, superhuman strength, and weapons to match. I mean, realistically, you know, I couldn't see a gun or a sword posing much of a threat to someone with super speed and super strength. But at the same time, imagine being sliced with a katana moving as fast as Barry Allen. Yeah. The game has various kinds of melee weapons such as swords and daggers, but also provides you with the ability to use a variety of long-range firearms with which to dispose of your foes. I've seen quite a bit of gameplay featuring assault rifles, shotguns, snipers, and katanas, and I gotta say, for a three-man team, I'm surprised everything looks and plays as smoothly as it does. No. No? Uh, no. I, I don't believe there is anyway. From what I've been able to gather thus far, as I haven't actually been able to test the game out yet, is that you're a war maiden. These are immortal beings created with superhuman powers with the purpose of protecting the world, or alternatively, if you feel like being a dick, destroying it. War Maidens don't have a specific class, rather they choose what superhero powers they'd like, what weapons they would like, and they customize their playstyle from there. You're given access to skills based off of what powers and weapons you choose, which essentially function as a class system of sorts. I'm not sure if the superpower you choose is locked in and unable to be changed out, but you can freely change what weapon you have equipped at any moment, making for a different overall style of play. Overall, the game shows a lot of promise. I know I touched on the fact that I was excited last month, but this time, this time I am in direct contact with the three-man team behind the game and they are giving me direct access to content. 
content that I can see firsthand, content that I can create videos around because honestly, it's, a, it's kind of exciting. It's always exciting seeing game developers, whether they be large budget AAA devs or indie devs going against the norm. Just because people think that you shouldn't have a sexy game doesn't mean that you shouldn't make one. I'm glad that Maiden Gaming continue to push the boundaries of what the mainstream media deem as an acceptable video game. We need more developers willing to actually take risks, regardless of what the outcome could potentially end up being. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We need an MMO that isn't Scarlet Blade because although Scarlet Blade is a fun MMO, it's always a solid idea to have more than one game of its kind because sticking to one game can get a little stale. I'm not overly fond of Kickstarter funded MMOs, I've made my opinion on them clear on many occasion. They just, they have a knack for making promises that they're unable to meet, but from what I can tell, Maiden Gaming are a group of pretty honest, friendly guys, and what's more, they live like two hours from me. After talking with them fairly extensively, I can say that they've earned a little trust from me and I can relate to their goal. The game, although funded by the community, is on a much smaller scale. You can choose to fund them via Patreon with any amount you deem appropriate or worth and can even gain access to the game by becoming a silver patron for $15 a month. I'm still excited for it, more so now that I've had much more of the game revealed to me. That's why, after all, I reached out to them asking if I could do a giveaway. What about you, though? Are you excited for the game? If so, what are you most excited for? Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you all next time. Peace! Day.